Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, on to the next reaction to Supernatural Season 5. I only watched My Bloody Valentine yesterday, but I have had this weird voice in the back of my head, which I think is Jensen and Jared, or Sam and Dean more specifically, coming from that box set going, watch me, watch me Scott, watch me. Like, part of me is just really eager to watch more Supernatural, because I'm so desperate to jump into it and watch more. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed the last episode of My Bloody Valentine, which was about... Cupid was obviously making people fall in love, but then we met the second horseman, which was Famine, who was making people hungry for each other, hungry for love, hungry for sex, hungry for food, but obviously it all turned deadly, so hungry for love and sex and food and whatnot, they'd overeat or they'd eat each other whilst having sex and stuff, and it was really cool to meet another horseman. Um, but I still can't believe we've got only eight episodes left of the season. I looked and double checked. Well, I was only 22 episodes this season, eight episodes left, which to me, there's like so much to do in the next eight episodes. I'm intrigued to know where things go because we've still got two horsemen to meet. We've got to wrap up. Well, I presume it's going to wrap up most of the apocalypse storyline because it was planned to be a five season show. So I think like what's going to happen is the finale will wrap up most of it, but maybe leave like, the odd thread open to, to season six because they probably would have known by that point they were carrying on. Um, so we've got the two horsemen to meet. We've got all the stuff with the vessels, Sam being uh, Lucifer's vessel, Dean being Michael's vessel, one of them or both of them saying yes to it and how that's going to carry on. We've got some stuff with Bobby, like Bobby still in the background just doing whatever he does. We've got... Um, the search for God, the amulet that Castiel was dealing with, and things like that. So we've still got quite a lot of things kind of outstanding, and eight episodes to wrap them up. So I'm very excited to see where it goes. I don't know how many more Monster of the Weeks there are, but even like last time, the Monster of the Weeks do kind of start to link towards the mythology. So just because it's a Monster of the Week episode, maybe, doesn't mean we're not going to have some sort of progress. This episode is called Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. Now, I've never heard that phrase before, so I googled it. And it turns out it's a film from the 1980s with Steve Martin. And it's like a comedy parody of kind of film noir thing. So maybe it's going to be like another black and white episode like the monster movie one, which I loved. But I loved that more because I know the whole genre of B-movie monster movies um, from like the classic period, Universal Monsters. I don't know noir movies that much. And my brother will be able to give you a whole lecture on it because he teaches film studies and he loves films and stuff like that so um i like, I'm, I'm not too well versed with the genre weird things that this might be like a parody episode so we'll just jump into it to find out if you enjoyed the video please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the episode and if you enjoyed my reaction and if you're excited for the reaction to the rest of season five as we're getting closer and closer towards whatever's going to happen with lucifer michael the vessels the apocalypse really excited to find out so let's jump into season five episode 15 of supernatural dead men don't wear plaid clay we've not had a good thunderstorm here for a while i mean it's raining outside like a proper good thunderstorm hi zombie 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 hey, hey. Um, has this guy come back for revenge? Or maybe he killed him? Uh. It looks like he's scared of him. He must have killed him. That's what I'm thinking. Message, call. South Dakota. Okay. She's still not home. How far could he get? I miss. <clears throat> He's not in it enough. <laughs> I saw Clay Thompson climb into Benny Sutton's trailer through the window. A couple of minutes later, uh, he walked out, and Benny's dead. You aren't aware that Clay Thompson. Zombie, zombie, yep. zombie. Are you positive that it was this guy? I'll stop singing that. No, no, no. Of course not. Can you think of any reason why Clay Thompson, alive or dead... <sighs> so why are the dead coming back to life? Is this a link to the apocalypse? <laughs> well, five years ago, Benny's the one that killed Clay in the first place. I thought so. Gentlemen, 
I'm Sheriff Jody Mills. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Hi, Jody. Agents Dorfman and Niedermeyer, FBI. Welcome to Sioux Falls, gentlemen. Can I ask you what you're doing with Digger here? No, they're doing their Jody, job. Jody, 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 hey, hey. The FBI believes a dead man committed a murder. <gasps> Bobby. It's not answering. <gasps> um. Agent Willis speaking. He's actually Agent just Willis ignoring the boys. Sheriff Jody Mills. Bobby? She Hunter. Excuse me? Is this Bobby Singer? Listen, I don't know who this is, but... Here's what I know about Bobby Singer. He's a menace around here. Ass full of drunken disorderlies and mail fraud. You understanding me? No, she's not I think we all can agree that you made yourself perfectly clear, yes. So whatever the three of you are planning, it ends here. Now. Oh. 10-4 on that, agents. Yeah. I like her though, I like her attitude. How many times we called? Her style. Where have you been? Playing murder ball. What's that smell? Is that soap? Did you clean? What are you, my mother? <laughs> Bite me. Guys, I thought it was something too. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. So who killed the guy? But we Take saw it as a zombie. This Benny Sutton guy was a grade A son of a bitch. There's a list of the living a year long, wouldn't mind putting a cap in his ass. <laughs> so you're telling us nothing? What is going on here? Hmm. I don't know, but something stinks. <laughs> don't shoot me, please. There's, there's money in the safe. I don't want your money. What do you want? Anything, please. You're like Thompson, right? Well. Oh, he's Clay. Who are you? No, I didn't look well. Uh, <clears throat> FBI. FBI. You're Clay Thompson, and you died. Five years ago. Yes. And three days ago, you climbed out of your grave and you killed Benny Sutton. Yes. So you are, in fact, a dead guy. I guess. I, I, I don't know what I am. Another day uh, in the life of Sam and Dean. Dean. Papa cap in his ass. He's a soccer dad. He's a soccer dad. Freeze! The way he said that line really made me laugh. Drop your guns. Hi, Jody. He's a soccer dad. <laughs> All right, hey. Remember the He's guy who said he was dead and couldn't possibly commit murder? There he is. And? And? And you're welcome for catching the undead killer zombie. Whatever he is or isn't, that don't give you the right to shoot him in the middle of the street. Shoot me? You're free to go, Mr. Thompson. Oh, hey. It's his wife. I didn't realize you were being company. It was 4 a.m., babe. You didn't need to cook. Poppy, you know this is wrong. Someone, Who was that? Karen, my wife. Your new wife? Her dead one. My dead wife. <sighs> oh, Poppy. <laughs> Sad. Dean, I can explain. Explain what? Lying to us? Are the American girl zombie making cupcakes in your kitchen? First of all, <laughs> that's my wife, so watch it. Bobby, whatever that thing is in there, it is not your wife. And how do you know that? Are you serious? You think I'm an idiot, boy? He's a zombie. My dead wife shows up on my doorstep. I'm not going to test her every way I ever learned. There is something wrong, though. Bobby, she crawled out of her coffin. No, she didn't. I cremated her. Uh, Some that's not even more freaky. Way, she's back. That's impossible. That's uh, Karen. Or the dead rising. Is this something to do with the death? The horseman? Her, her little boy came back. Oh, no wonder she's fine, then. Well, there were the lightning storms. <laughs> That's what we said. And through the fire stood before me a pale horse. Death. And he that sat atop it's him death. carried a scythe. And I saw since he had risen, they too shall rise. Uh -oh. From him and through him. You wouldn't tell the boys? So what is this? Knowing what's going on. Death. Death. Like Grim Reaper. Death. Yeah. You know what we have to do here. She doesn't remember anything, you know. Bobby! I know you're struggling, but think. Killing her. You're so sensible and b most of the time. Bobby. No, no, don't Bobby me. I'll Bobby as much as I want. Just listen, okay? Tone deaf is all help. I never thought I would hear it again. 
breaks my heart a little bit. <laughs> I know what I do, and I know what you think you gotta do. But Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, Sorry, Bobby, but she gotta go. <laughs> it is really sad, especially when it comes to like wives and Mills. You see her little boy? Oops, did I scare you? No. No, no, there's <laughs> nothing scary about you at all. Not so much. Mm. I know who you are. I'm just like I know Bobby's not the same mild-mannered scrap dealer I married. You hunt things. A little bit. I, I'm a thing. I get it. So then you know that Sam and I would never let anything happen to Bobby. He's like a father to us. I understand. I mean, he's lucky to have you looking out for him, Dean. But you're not the only one. But I can see it in his eyes when he looks at me. The guilt weighs on him. So why don't you just tell me you remember? I'm gonna go on a limb here and say you've never been in love. He's my husband. My job is to bring him peace, not pain. This all feels really weird. <laughs> I don't like it. <coughs> um... yeah, I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, he looks so cute, huh? I thought she was like that in his face. Oh! Let's see that. For sure, for sure. Oh god, I don't like something like that. Do you like we see videos on YouTube where like people like up with the like throwing the baby up in the air and the baby like vomits on them? It just makes me feel ill. I don't like it. <laughs> but you have got to acknowledge that you're not exactly seeing this straight. Bobby, whether you admit it or not, these things are turning. We have to stop them. All of them. Bobby dyed his hair. Looks darker than I remember. Well, because he normally has a hat on. Time to go. What? You heard me. Off my property. Oh what? You'll shoot? If Karen turns, I will handle it my way. This is dangerous. I don't like this side of Bobby. I'm not telling you twice. Does that feel better, honey? I'm so hungry, mommy. Oh, no. <sighs> Be careful, Jody. I'm just gonna make you some soup, okay? Okay. Karen? Karen? She's starting to go bad. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I just gotta be dizzy. Come on, Bobby. Oh, I'm okay. I, I just need something to eat. And I'll be fine. Really. Sean? But it's one of those situations where obviously your judgment is impaired because of how close you are to that person. Owen? Oh my god. That's a nice little image though, I like that. That could be my thumbnail. <laughs> oh. oh god. Let's go. Oh. No. Come on, Sam. Shoot him. Shoot him. How do we put him down? Catch up. Oh. Can she do that? We're gonna need weapons. I like that <clears throat> Bobby's this hunter that's been around for years and it, he's taking so long to accept what needs to be done. Whereas Jody straight away was like, what do we do? Headshot? Cool. <laughs> oh, poor Jody. I'm so hungry, Bobby. I'll fix you something to eat in a minute. Like a bullet. I can feel it. Come on, Bobby. Happening. The demon inside me. You killing me. And you know why I can't do it again. I 
understand it, but it's... I guess it's frustrating, because if... There's something else, too. Somebody don't intervene, or Bobby doesn't do the right thing, he's going to get killed. There was a man. What do you mean? A man? At the grave. He was so thin, like a skeleton. He told me to give you a message. Me? Oh. Bobby! I think he did that. He did the right thing in the end. <laughs> Dean! Yeah, well, don't waste your bullets when they're like miles away. Because you wait till they're right next to you and just shoot them in your head. Bobby is a shot though, Christ. Come on, Bob. I really wish they could do some sort of wish to restore his legs. I really do miss. They'd be in the middle of a monster fight. Everything would be against, stacked against them. And Bobby would just appear out of nowhere, run, like, running down the hall like, with a gun or a dagger or something and save the day. I miss that. You got any more ammo? I'm low. Yeah, we got plenty. Shall we go to the low, 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 they can break through, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Don't you ever get tired of being wrong? I'm making this stuff up as I go. Sue me. <laughs> I like that one. That was funny. Come on, Sam Jody. She's a badass bitch, man. Oh, she reminds me of Ellen a little bit. <laughs> I miss Ellen. Oh, the townspeople. Pretty freaked out. How traumatized. I wonder why. A few of them are calling the papers. As far as I can tell, nobody's believed him yet. <laughs> I don't know. I think if it wasn't for a son, she'd be okay. But see, she had to watch someone go into a house and shoot a son in the head. Just not cool. Thinking maybe I should apologize for losing my head back there. Uh, yeah. And also, you don't know what's the message? Hey, look, I don't know squat from Shinola about love. But what's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. At least you got to spend five days with her, right? Right. Which makes things a thousand times worse. I got that. She was the love of my life. How many times do I gotta kill her? You boys should know. Here we go. Karen told me why death was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean? It came from me. What do you mean, you? Death came from me. What? He brought Karen back to send me a message. Because I've been helping you, you sons of bitches. I'm one of the reasons you're still saying no to Lucifer, Sam. So this was like a hit on your life? I don't know if they wanted to take my life or... My spirit. My spirit. <gasps> Bobby. Either way, they wanted me out of the way. But you're going to be all right. right? Does he look Bobby. okay? It's interesting that the reason behind it all though. And again it's like what I was saying where they have like a Monster of the Week episode linking it to the mythology of the apocalypse and things again. Really good. But they didn't show us death, which is interesting. I thought maybe we'd get a glimpse of him at some point. Okay, that was my reaction to season 5, episode 16, I think, of Supernatural. No, 15, Supernatural. Dead men don't wear plaid. And that was good. That was fun. I enjoyed the episode. It's probably not my favourite of the season. I did enjoy the aspects of it. I think the main thing that I took away from the episode that I really liked was Jodie. And I'm not going to act dumb. I do believe that she comes into it again at some point. Because I'm sure at some... 
Again, like just with Supernatural being such a big phenomenon for 15 years, I hear saw little bits here and there. Don't tell me details on because t- it's probably going to spoil things in the future. But I just know that Jodie is in it again at some point. I didn't kind of put the pieces together till right near the end when I know that obviously the name Jodie Mills, and then watching her how well she, that she survived the episode for one, and then I kind of started to triggered in the back of my mind. But I do know that she's in it again. But I don't know how big a part she plays. But I really loved her. I thought that she was like strong determined, a badass, and when she knew what was going on, she did the right thing, which is quite like an antithesis to, at least for a while, what Bobby was doing. Now, obviously, they, they all kind of played dumb a little bit when the, the, the people came back to life. Like, they all know that's not a good thing to have, like, a your son or your wife or your whoever has been dead for years and they've just shown up again and they're fine. And not just with some people that they buried them, they came back out of the grave, but like with Bobby's wife, she was cremated. Um... But like what I liked with Jodie, when she started to kind of accept what happened, straight away she kind of was like, right, what do we do? We have to kill them, right, let's do that. And then she like, she didn't stop Sam going in to shoot him. She was obviously upset by it, of course. But quite quickly she was just kind of accepted that that's what had to happen. Whereas with Bobby, it was a bit of a longer process, whereas he knew what was going on. He knew it was part of the apocalypse. He knew that it was bad, even though he did say there's nothing to say in the Bible that it's bad, but obviously it's bad. And he was like shutting people out, and even Sam and Dean were like, "Look, you know, if this you if this wasn't you, this would happen to us or to other people, exactly how you would act." But because it was happening to him, he was like, "No, get out of my house and getting a gun out and stuff." And that was quite hard to watch because Bobby's always one that protects Sam and Dean and does the right thing. Bobby's like the what's the one I'm looking for? Like the sensible voice in all the mess of things. Often, like when people arguing about stuff or emotions getting involved Bobby's usually the one that's like this is what should happen but um, just to see him be kind of not that and to be the one that's like holding the boys back and doing the right thing was really frustrating because we know full well that if it was the shoes on the other foot the Bobby would be in there like just shooting the heads off people um, but I get it like when your emotions are playing a part of it you know you don't see things right you don't see things as they should be but like you say, he was dragging things out, pushing the boys away, put, letting his wife carry on doing her thing, knowing full well that at some point it was going to go bad, probably. And then when things started to go bad, yeah, he did eventually shoot her. Um, but luckily he had long enough to get the message. So what I really liked about it was the whole point of this whole zombie thing was because death brought these people back to get to, to Bobby, whether it was to kill him or say to break his spirit. Because he was one of the main people helping Sam and Dean, helping them survive. But more importantly, helping them say no, say no, say no. And obviously they all want Sam and Dean to say yes, so that Lucifer and Michael can fight and the apocalypse happens. Um, it's really interesting that like, it's just, it could just be this random, hey, zombies have appeared, some some bones put a ookie dookie, wookie spooky, voodoo spell. And some necromancer brought some people back to life. They could have just done that. But because of the way the season's going, it was like, no, actually, one of the horsemen was here. He brought them back to life to, to get you to stop helping them. So I thought that that link was quite cool because it was so, so, so right at the end, which kind of answered a lot of questions throughout. Like, why is this happening here? Why are these people coming back to life? What's going on? And it answered all those questions. Um, I did hope that we would see Death, get a glimpse of him in the car or whatever he's riding because... War had a red car. Famine had a black wheelchair, but also had the black vans as well. Um, so I was hoping that we would see death at the end because she said it was like a skele- He was someone who was really thin, almost skeletal, I think that she said. So they could hire someone who's like quite a gaunt actor. Uh, like Doug, jo- Doug Jones, the one who plays those characters in Buffy, like the one who plays the gentleman, the main guy. He's quite skinny. A bony, or I'm thinking that the person who plays, uh, oh no, who is it now? There's a famous actor who plays a lot of horror villains. I can't think of his name off the top of my head. Um, but the because they're quite usually quite bony and skeletal and can, can contort a lot as well. They get a lot of work doing certain things. So maybe one of those kind of actors. But I'm excited to meet Death because they've been teasing it for so long. And just the first two horsemen I've been very happy with. Like, sometimes in these shows, and I'm thinking shows like Once Upon a Time, if you've watched that as well, like a character that you want to meet, and then you meet them, you're like, 
I wouldn't have cast them, or that's not how I would envision them, or something like that. With these horsemen, I've enjoyed war, I've enjoyed famine, and so excited to meet the other two. Because if they carry on the trend, they're going to be all awesome. But yeah, I liked all the links and the reason for it all happening. And it was good to see the wife back. I said, you have to let me know if she's the same actress, because I don't really remember her much from the past times that we've seen her. I know she looks the same, but obviously they can just dress an actor up. But I just, I just don't remember the actress at all from last time. Um, knowing Supernatural, they probably would have got the same actor if they could. Uh, so I probably would, is the same person. I just don't remember it too well. Um, but it was really sad just watching Bobby go through that. Because you could see in in his eyes, he knew it was wrong. Um, as any of us would in that situation. But even, he had the extra level of he knew it was part of the apocalypse. And what should be done. Whereas other people, like Jody know it's wrong, but all they just know is that the sun is back, and they don't know anything beyond that. They don't know about the supernatural, even though I thought she was a hunter for a while. Apparently not. Um, she just lives in... It all makes sense now why I was missing pieces, but she lives in Bobby's, like, hometown. He's, like, a well-known menace. Yeah. Sad. It was, re- it was really sad to watch it, really, but they did the right thing in the end, but it was really cool. I really enjoyed all the scenes of them just gunning down these zombies, like, Headshot, 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 headshot. These people need to play Call of Duty, you know? These people would be great. I, I really enjoyed that. And it was cool watching the fact they got into this little cupboard. And they were looking in a really tight space. And it was like, oh, God, what do we do now? It's fine. Zombies can't pick locks. A second later. <laughs> I love that. And then Sam and Jody showed up to save the day. Yeah, I don't feel like I have a lot more to say about this episode. Because there wasn't a lot of themes to think about. It was just like, David came back to life. And it was more about... Bobby's acceptance and other people obviously communicating with people that had died, whether it was like the guy at the start that had killed that guy, or the son, or the wife, or whoever. Uh, but the town did really come through and do the right thing in the end. Uh, I'm excited to see more of Jodie in the future. How, when, don't spoil when she comes back, or how often she comes back, or how big a part she is. I do know that she comes back, and let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I know inevitably there will be comments that people will say about something about Jodie. Um, that is minor spoilery, but just try your best not to. Um, I just don't want to play dumb and go, I don't know anything about the future. It's one of those funny things with reactors, like, shows have been on air for so long, you're going to know things that happen. Like, if someone's never watched Game of Thrones before, for example, you're going to know elements of things like, I won't, I won't spoil it if you don't know, but it's I find, maybe because I'm so in, I spend a lot of time looking at, like, media news, film news, TV news, maybe I just pick up a lot along the way and I retain that knowledge because I like I love TV especially when I used to be watching TV all the time uh, maybe I just have picked up these things in the past but yeah I just know that Jodie's in something to do with Supernatural in the future don't tell me what but I'm really really excited to see more of her because I really enjoyed her performance and the character and I just think she's going to be a great addition to the show because yeah we need more female characters who aren't dead and she gives me like Ellen vibes in that strong independent woman a bit of a badass Love to shoot a shotgun. Uh, I just really liked it. So I'm excited to see more. Yeah. Let me know down below what you thought of the episode in the comments and if you enjoyed my reaction. And as always, my name is Scott. Hope you guys are well. Taking care of yourselves and staying safe. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And then there's a Patreon link in the description box below if you want to watch the full live reaction to this episode as well as hopefully the next few in advance for you guys over on YouTube. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you all very soon for the seventh to last episode of Supernatural season five. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a good evening. Bye guys.